live from the streaming capital of the world, oh, Niagara Falls. Sorry, we're not there. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, today we are going to, unless I get bored of it, pick up with what we had, uh, the problem we were working on earlier in Replit and JavaScript, uh, which is to find the heliacal rising times and setting times and twilight times of, uh, of stars. Uh, and we'd done quite a bit with it, but we had broken something because I had decided to use a more accurate um, sun position um, thingamabobby. More accurate sun position using an interpolation instead of using simple formulas. Uh, there are some interesting things going on there that we, uh, we could probably do something with. So I think the only error I made there, and it's a very simple error, and I figured it out later, um, is now that we're treating D as uh, the zeroth day of the year, essentially, we also need to treat it like that in, uh, in the function um, heliacal rising. And I don't think we're doing that right now. So let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, still blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Um, and I do, have, I do have a download. If I, I'm going to push this to git just to double check. Oh, 12 changed files. So I really should do that before we fix it. And remember, if you have code that doesn't work, you should always should always uh, try to save it because in case you accidentally get your code to work later, you can always roll back to a version where it didn't work. And that is, that is of course, the goal of all programmers. Um, okay, so this one I think we'll just say first day of uh, 2020. And we're going to use pretty much the exact same thing, except we have to multiply it by a thousand because um, because uh, JavaScript uses milliseconds, whereas Unix uses seconds. So somewhere in here, I, I already have the value we will need. There it is. Well, that times a thousand, so not difficult at all. If I can find where the hell I was. Okay, hang on. Okay, uh, there we are. Plus D times 86,400. Um, wait. Oh crap. That's what I'm meant to do. This is just a new date. I need to change the values over here, and also it's temp2, not, not date. So I think maybe I F that up a little bit. Okay, I think that's fine. Times 1000 and the rest of it just stays the way it is. Okay. Now, one other thing I was thinking about doing, um, it'd be sort of cool if we said, you know, the star heliacally rises at, heliacally, rises at this time, and we actually could link to, like, um, a demonstration of that uh, using the web version of Stellarium. Um, so let's, I think this is the only fix that we need here. Let's rock and roll. Um, the load time for the cities does, wow does bug me a bit, uh, and, and when it's infinite, it bugs me even more. Um, wow. Obviously, we need to get rid of the console logs before we push this to GitHub pages. Um, so our name will be Sirius. Am I Sirius? Yes, I am. And let's try to find out, I think it's Cairo, Egypt, where civilization first started civilizing itself. Okay. Star rises at dawn, July 29th. Uh, star rises with the sun, July... These numbers look actually vaguely reasonable. Um, July 29th, July 29th, okay. And um, let's see if we can rock the online version of Stellarium to do this, while at the same time, this is the brilliant part, while at the same time actually learning something, which is, you know... Um, Actually, sorry, while at the same time seeing if we can, yep, find a URL that will let us get to a given point in a given, no, you cannot have my access, you cannot know my location. Um, I guess I don't have a choice, even though that's probably against GPDR, but I don't care. Okay, so this is, this is kind of ugly, Let's, how can we get rid of this? You, be gone. No, fuck, what are you doing? Fuck you, fuck you. Okay, hang on. Um... I'm hoping there's like a full... There we go. Uh, this is gorgeous. I have no idea what the, where the hell it is or what it is, but it is gorgeous. What does this do? 
I probably don't care. Okay. All right. Um, view settings, which actually here means, oh, uh, let's see. We do want to simulate refraction because we actually need it. We compute it. Um, we compute sunrise and sunset based with refraction. Gold standard. Yeah, we get it. Um, nope. Not there. Alrighty. So are the options. Okay, that's 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 how we. S oh, I guess there are little tiny options down here which I have hidden because of my wonderful desire to be stupid. Um, Alright, let's rearrange this a little bit. Let's rearrange the alphabet to put you... Oh, I messed that joke up. Never mind. Okay. My oh, wow. Okay, I see what's going on. I have... <laughs> I have a screen inside a screen here. Okay. Ooh, why are we near Albuquerque? because I'm near Albuquerque. Constellations, atmosphere, landscape, equatorial grid, deep sky object, night mode, full screen. Um, so if, uh, let's just see if when I change the date, there's a way it, okay, it's going to take its little time to do magic. Okay. Okay, so it does not look like the URL immediately changes, which is fine. Um, so is there like a, a little um, a little thing that says share this link or something? Data credits, privacy about, or maybe they don't want people doing what I what I want to do here. Um, so let's see if there's a link. Observation logbook. Um, okay, I'm guessing maybe this is, um, I don't know if it's, when they say your law, your observations, they mean your observations of Stellarium or your observations of something else. Um, so this is not, not fantastic. Um, so it does not look like there's an easy way, unless there is. I mean, now we could, like, pretend. What if we said date equals? This is not going to work. I mean, if this works, I'll be very surprised. That's the first time I've ever done that, and it's actually worked. So apparently, you can put parameters. I'm going to definitely record that. That is, that's gold. That's effing gold there. Um, is that an undocumented feature, maybe? Okay, so we can actually now do link to a given day and search equals Sirius. Are you serious, man? Okay. I don't think we're focused in on Sirius right now. Although, honestly, at this point, I don't know. Um... All right, well, let's just make this something that's more obvious. Let's uh, make this um, Polaris. No, okay. So the search, that doesn't, that search is not a parameter there. Um, well, we're really zoomed out. Whoa, okay, that, that is the moon, if anyone didn't know. That looked like, how do I adjust my point of view? How do I zoom in, man? Usually I just use um, page up or page down. Shift page up? No. Oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, so I don't see how to zoom in either. I rock. Um, okay, but I can set the date. Can I set the RA equals zero? Okay, I have no idea if that worked, but now set it to 12 and see how much it changes. Okay. So I guess the question is, what else can we put, um, uh, if this is even a documented feature? So view settings, that's not what I want. Planet Snipe, not want that. I don't want the freaking mobile app. Ooh. I don't know what the hell this is about, but let's learn more. Um, nope, they're trying to sell us something. 
Jesus Christ. Um, so apparently someone wanted to use Stellarium as a free bait to something that's a piece of crap, by definition. Uh, so we, we could get rid of the atmosphere and the landscape, obviously, and then... Um, but uh, we're clearly not hitting uh, anything near serious for Polaris. We what, what the hell? It also changes our freaking settings? Frick frick? Um, okay. Uh, so I guess we're going to look for a Stellarium Web uh, get parameters. And to be honest, I don't even know if that's, um, that's something it's supposed to support. Um, must include parameters, man. Oh, here we are. Some documentation. Um, so this is, this is interest Learning Web Engine. There's a whole Git project for this sucker. Um, is there any documentation? Oh wow, you can put it in a Docker file, which is kind of nice. All right, let's go ahead and clone this sucker and find a, find ourselves some documentation. Okay. Alrighty. Um, okay, that looks like it might be somewhat useful. Oh, well, that's, that's vaguely interesting, but it's not documentation. It's trying to run it here locally, which I don't think will work because I don't have the, the right... Um, I'm not running a web server, I don't think, on this machine. Um, let's read me MD. I guess we can't do better than that. Oh my god, Gaster. Jesus Christ. They have seriously outdone themselves. Um. Okay. So now the question is, are they doing like everybody does and, um, not bothering to document anything? Let's look for any HTML files here. Not that that is the best way to document anything. Literally two pages. Okay. I don't have much faith in this one. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's just do this. Find dot minus type F XR script minus I uh, get Crap. Mm, we'll just do that. It's not gonna. We're not getting any results. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. So now let's look for date equal, which is what I did. I think that might just be. Yeah. So unfortunately, I think this is a um, undocumented feature, which means I can't even complain when it goes away or if it goes away. Uh, but let's go back there real quick. Nope. That's not where I want to be. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Actually, hang on. In the Git, we might actually have, like, under issues or something. Um, let me see. How do I search in this repo? Is that, like, to the right there? No. Issues pull... Ooh, four? Um... I guess I can add one saying, you know, document the frickin' date equals function. Um, well, let's look at all the issues, I guess. Da, 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 da. The web version does not work properly! Let's see what that actually says. Um... Okay, so this uh, guy obviously got himself nailed. Um, very, very big letters. Uh, very capitalized. Um, okay. Ah. Uh, 
Alrighty. Now this is where we're going to just waste a whole bunch of time. And latitude equals 35. Let's see what that does. Probably not a damn thing. Um, that's dangerously close to where I live. Is it act I don't know why I'm zooming in on it, because that's just going to make things worse. But, I mean, I do live in Albuquerque. Uh, let's move. So we can do this. Four corners. Do not use auto location. Very, very bad. Okay, so apparently if we can change anything, this date thing happens to be a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, ooh! For just a second it said unknown. Now it's gonna it's not gonna let me set the uh set the get parameters here and I doubt it's gonna accept post parameters either. Um we could complain that the date equals function isn't documented, but that might be um that might be kind of a stupid thing. Because they might not even want to have that function in there and it's just sort of a mistake that it's in there. In which case we're complaining essentially Nope, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, we had an output, didn't we? Somewhere. Um, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go ho oh, no. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and close the other tabs here. Every so often we should do that. Um, Jesus Christ. Plus 50? Wow, I am cranking that sucker. Okay, Pomodoro, back in two and two. And I'm back. Okay, we reduced this down to one. And let's go ahead and run this in a uh, zone window here. So I think we said the star name is going to be Sirius. I kind of sorry we did this. And the city name is going to be um, Cairo, Egypt. There's a new Cairo, Egypt? What was wrong with the old one? Okay, not great that nothing happened. Let's go back over here. Okay, I guess we'll run it again, but that was... That was kind of strange. Alright, we I, this worked earlier. Oh, script error. So what the hell? Oh, this still works. Still works. Go. I'm not happy about that. Oh wait, am I on the wrong one? I am. I'm on autocomplete. Sorry. Sorry, we're on the wrong program.
I'm the f I have no idea what the hell happened. I thought we were on the right one. But anyway. Um, I think we're bringing it all into Heli- uh, Yeah, we're bringing it all into Heliacal. So this is the one we need to push out. Right, this is the one that also has a f sort of a random startup if we don't give it anything. And then, hello, Cairo. Come on, come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, so from Cairo, Egypt. I'm kind of tempted to use just the web version so I can only switch. I can switch tabs instead of having to. Um, um, let's go ahead and bookmark this sucker. All right. N don't allow. Remember this decision. Do not allow. Never ever allow. Um. Okay. So it's going to be July 29th is going to be the date, so we can uh, do that. Okay. Uh, we're going to change near Albuquerque to Cairo, Egypt. I guess that's what I mean. Okay, and now we're going to look for the star. Not very hard to find Sirius. I mean, we could just do a search for it, but I'm kind. Well, okay. So I get rid of the ground and the landscape, and we'll go ahead and look for it. Sirius, are you serious? No, I'm El Debrin. Okay, can we zoom in here? Now it sort of does look like. God damn it! I want to select Sirius, but I don't want this piece of shit pop up here. Ooh. That's kind of useful. But now, can we just get rid of view? Um, if we do this, nope, that just makes things worse. Okay, we're apparently going to be stuck with this. Well, let's see if it gives us a rise and set time. That might actually be helpful. Um, rises at 2.49 and sets at 13.36, which seems weird, but again, we're in a weird time zone. So, uh, sun rises at 3.11 and sets at 16.51. So that might actually be, yeah, this is a piece of crap. Okay, and I think it's intended to sell something, so, you know. Um, all right, plus I always look for excuses to run Stellarium. Yeah, I don't give a rat's ass about the old fricky fricky file. Um, okay, and I, there's got to be a way to start this thing paused or more zoomed out. Uh, it's ridiculous. F6, let's head to Cairo. Why is there no Cairo? Oh, are they going to be weenies and spell it the right way? Or does the city of Cairo just not exist anymore? This is clearly not good. Come on, seriously? What the actual fuck? Fine. We will choose... What's close to Cairo? Athens? It's not that close, but anyway. Athens. I can't tell if it's doing this on purpose. Um, I think they're going to be really smart by using the proper name of Athens, which is like something stupid. Um... And this is what happens when, you know, developers get cocky. They, they do something that's useful, they decide it's too useful, and they decide to make it less useful. All right. What's another city in that general area? The nation of Chad is in that area, but I think. I have no idea, actually. <sighs> okay. So let's, um, let's find Cairo here. 
And they call it Cairo Government, which is like such a stupid name. And I don't want any of this. God damn it. Okay. Really kind of sucky. You know, kind of like not giving me the information I want. Alright, there's Cairo. Okay, maybe it's Giza where the pyramids are that they'll let us go to. Okay. This is getting kind of annoying. Alright, why why are you fucktards fucking this up? There's no sea cities at all. Is it Al Cairo or something? Or something stupid like that? There, there's like literally no no sea cities here. Okay. But Egypt is pretty small, so we'll just take one of these places here and uh Stellarium ass wipes. Okay. Okay, Star Wars is at dawn on August the 5th, we say. And we might need to find a way to test this that doesn't involve bringing up Stellarium, because now I'm pissed at Stellarium. And it is serious. I'm not going to make the joke again. Um, and we're saying that it rises at dawn. So it is currently... Um, at minus 7, so we need to crank this time up a little bit here. Um. Okay, so this is serious at uh, this time. And I do get the feeling this is not going to work out really well for us. The sun is at um, 11 degrees below the horizon. On, of course, this is a different location uh, than we had before, so maybe that's that's the uh, the change in altitude is sufficient. Sorry, latitude is sufficient to make a problem here. So let's just go to some place where even Stellarium knows where it is. Maybe let's go to jolly old London, England. And that, well, actually, London's a bad idea because it's right at the uh, Greenwich Meridian, so it's a special case. So maybe let's not do that. Um, okay, fuck that. All right, we need another place that's not close to the Prime Meridian. Um, let's do Perth, Australia. I've always liked Perth, Australia. Um, okay. Oh, and Perth, Australia is pretty far south, so this should be actually an interesting kind of test. Um, Perth, I didn't know, I didn't know people observed Perth, but apparently there is a place to observe Perth. Okay, I think we're there. And we're, the day should be almost correct. No, no, it shouldn't actually. June 13th is when we're looking for... And we're looking for our good friend Sirius. And it is... Come on, where are you? 43 degrees, so we need to go backwards in time, I think. But actually, it's going to be quite a bit backwards. Um, So this is serious rising. Um, okay. And it's June 13th. Well, it's actually the wrong day. Hang on. Not going to make much of a difference, by the way. Um, okay. So serious is rising here. It's um, June 13th. And we are saying that it's rising at dawn, so the sun should be about six degrees below the horizon here. Let's find out if it is. Mr. Sun. 
Um, there it is. It is negative six degrees. Very close to. The reason we're not seeing any of this, by the way, is because we have the uh, atmosphere and. Um, I guess we turn those on. Eh. Okay. So this is good. This is good. Now we're saying that um, six se uh, six days earlier, it rose with the sun. So let's go ahead and make it six days earlier. Seven days earlier. Um, let's find Sirius. Let's find Sirius. And the sun, it's now below five, so we have to go up a little bit. Minus two, minus one, zero. And now the sun should be right at the rise itself. Um, yep, looks pretty good. So, so it is working for Perth and Sirius. Um, let's stay in Perth since changing our um, country seems to be more painful than anything else. And now let's talk about a star that's fairly north, Deneb. And let's see what that does. Okay. So now we're saying, and this time we'll check the setting condition, December 8th. And the sun is right now, you know what, let's go ahead and put the ground back, but not the atmosphere. The sun is now at 25 degrees. We need to go a little bit, f quite a bit forward in time, actually, to the point where we want to do this, this, this. Oh, we're going to go really forward in time. Okay. It's kind of sudden there. Okay, so I'm pretty darn close. Well, actually, let's see if we can get it really, really close. Two degrees. Yeah, our, our border line is kind of killing us right now. Okay, sunset. Serious? No, 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 Deneb. Nice, <laughs> right along the horizon. Um, also, pretty close to setting. Um... Not as uh, much as well. Hello, 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 hello! Uh, no, 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 no. You must be. You must be banned eternally. Um. Well, you're the first one who's ever been banned. Congratulations, you f stupid bot. How do I get rid of this little pop up? You've ruined me! Fuck, how do I get back to... Oh, I think maybe there's a thingy here at the right that I can't see right now. Wow. So banning someone's a real pain in the ass when you do this. And you can X this out, obviously. Um, well, it's good to have a spam bot for the first time, you know? New experiences, that's what it's all about. Um... But now that I've had one, I don't want another one. Okay. Let's continue. So this is looking pretty good. I mean, I don't think we can expect perfection here. Um, but good. And Perth is a fairly random location, so if it's working for Perth, and we have tested it before, I think we're probably okay here. Um, after one more test. So let's say Antares. I really like that star for some reason. Uh, this is interesting because it says here that it sets with the sun. Oh, right, because Antares is right on the ecliptic, so it's basically at the position of the sun. So not a very interesting test. Um, let's see. I know so many stars usually. Gemma. Gemma. A. Oh, wow, they don't know it. It's the uh, Corora, it's the crown, it's the northern crown. Um, it's the top star in that. And I don't know if it's actually called Gemma now that I think. How about Alpha Kretz? I don't even know what that is. That, 
Alfred is in the, in the Hydra. I think that actually will have one. Alpha Crits, I think, is too far north to do anything. That should be... I think that's in the Great Bear. No. Cool. Okay, let's find it. And I think that's in the Hydra, but let's check real quick. Wow, we are really zoomed in. Oh no, it's in the Great Square. I'm surprised that it sets at all here. But okay. Star rises April 8th. Let's see what that does. And we should probably get the star to actually rise. Oh! And there it is, rising with the sun. Pretty close to it. Um, and I think one issue here is... No, okay, so this is 31 degrees above the horizon. This is... Yeah, 30, 30 minutes. Sorry, 31 minutes, 30 minutes. It's, it's pretty good. I, I think we're good there. Okay, so I'm now convinced these results are correct. Um, and I've been hoping to see Antares myself. I wonder what's a good time. Um, not now. <laughs> not in January. Um, how about Acrux? I don't think we can actually see Acrux this far north, but yeah, sadly too far south for that. I don't think Denim ever sets at our location. Oh, it does. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, it is indeed time for that. Back in two and two. I think. Hang on one sec. Stand by. Oh, wow. I forgot to do it last time. But back in two and two. And we are back. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. So we've fixed the deer, we've tested for a few values. I think we're good to push to GitHub pages now. Um, I guess a couple of things, um, we don't have a longitude, we don't have instructions, which might be okay, because it is a, it is a templated, I think we will want to add a longitude, although we'll mention that it's not used in the calculation. Okay, and then we will fill it in as well. And I think this has to be called latitude, even declination, right ascension. Okay. And we'll actually 
make this LNG and I'm going to keep the values, we're going to let JavaScript fill in the values. Um, so let's go ahead and go into script.js and we are going to go ahead and say LNG. Um, where are we doing the, let's see. Okay. And I guess I don't know where we're doing the, um, well, let's go ahead and do the setting here when we someone updates the star. Um, that's not useful. When someone updates the city, uh, we will set the longitude value to cities city dot lng. Okay. We should also, we don't need to console log anything at this point. We can, but we don't need to. I think the randomization occurs in index.html itself in a little tiny, yep. And let's see. And for LNG, it's going to be um, 360 minus 180 because longitude can be anywhere between um, negative 180 and positive 180. Um, and we will go ahead and put in here not used in calculation. Alrighty. And do I want to, I think maybe I want a bigger sort of a break between the, um, let's even be anatomically correct there and do this. I said anatomically correct. Let's be xml -y correct and do that. Um, okay. I'm just going to trust, let's go over here, that it's going to work better. Um, mm, that probably isn't a great star name to start out with. In the sense that it's not a star name at all. Alright, what the hell am I, where the hell am I doing that? That should not actually occur anywhere. That, unless I really F something up. I don't think I ever mentioned Albuquerque as a hard... Oh, you know what? It might be keeping values from the previous uh, load because they actually need to reload this. Um, why? Why, why, why? It's not even like the city name or anything. It's like the... Yay, that's where we are. Okay. So we're getting, let me do a shift reload just to make sure that we've completely wiped this. Okay, there we go. And now if I do a reload, it was apparently keeping that value from the city name previously or whatever. Um, I guess we could use a little bit of, um, of a header information, not too much. This is a test application. This is not meant to be good. Uh, da -da -da, we include all this crap, then we enter values below initial values are random. There, that should be more than enough explanation for them. Is that a paragraph break? I guess it is. All right. or choose city star from list uh, below lists at bottom of page. Which is bad because if I ever change the page layout they won't be at the bottom of the page anymore, they'll just be sort of somewhere else in the page. Um, go. Okay. Polaris at the North Freaking Pole. Oh, wow. Well, it's not going to rise anywhere anyway, so let's see. How about a star that's near the equal... Okay, let's say Pol uh, Pollux is going to be too close to the... 
Yeah, let's do Pollux. What the hell? Pollux in Pollockville. Palachi. See, that, that actually goes pretty well together. And in this, this case, it's not surprising the times are close together because Pollux is near the ecliptic. Okay. So is this looking like a fairly publishable app to be crappy with? Uh, so let's make sure that when I change this number, it doesn't actually change the calculation, because that would be really bad. Okay. Alrighty, so what is there? I guess we need to search for our to-dos anywhere in this, and we that's... I don't think uh, Replit lets us search across multiple files. Let me see if I can... I can't select multiple files. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and download it. Um, and we're, which we've been doing frequently. And we're going to check for any references to HTTP because we want to make sure that it's not um, calling anything in, in externally. And we want to also check for any references to, to the words to do, indicating that the program is incomplete in some sense. And if all that's good, we can go ahead and upload it to GitHub pages. So let's go over here. I don't think it will be. I think we will need to make some changes. Let's go ahead and go into our um, directory of the day. And it's going to be Twitch, um, Heliacal, 10,900,000,000, uh, hang on, parentheses, 15. And I'm going to just make sure now that, that that's the latest one. It should be, because they get numbered sequentially. It is. Unzip it. Uh, let's look for great uh, anywhere in here. Whoa, again, we should probably use that grep minus L. Um, yeah, it's probably okay that um, the libraries have it, because that's... Uh, I think, well, is that really okay? It probably is. They probably are not... They probably are not trying to pull anything in. Um, I guess it should have been IL, but I don't think I care. And now to do... Okay, and the, the only one that kind of bugs me is... Alright, let's, let's do this. There's a lot of to-dos in my library. Okay, that's not grep minus. So this time I'm just doing grep. Uh, clean up. This is <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, that's not really very useful to do. I think the only one I really care about is the one in script.js. List of stars maybe with, and we did it. We we got that there. Um, so we might as well, I guess, remove it. Autocomplete. To do list of stars. We have freaking booyahed that. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to bother to re... Um, I think this is close enough to what we need that we don't need to uh, re-unzip it. Um, so, now we are going to go into Google Pages, into our directory that links to Google Pages, which I think is just called Google Pages. Ooh. BC Git Pages? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. Inside of pages. And then I think we're just putting everything into um, subdirectories. Then we're going to actually, I think we can just unzip it from where it is. Um, Okay, hang on. We're, we are in the wrong directory. I'm glad that got caught, though. BC Lunar Interp, BC Solar Interp. And what's interesting here is this unzip is going to give us a second copy of BC Lib Staging and BC Lib, which is okay because it, you know, it's like a Docker file where we kind of want to keep it around just in case. Okay, so now if this is correct, I should be able to do... Um, I should be able to visit this page, uh, okay, and click on index.html because it's magic. Um, wow. Actually, I shouldn't say wow, that's what I expected to happen. Um, 
because this is purely JavaScript. It's not calling anything from anywhere. I just didn't have a proper star name there. Okay. When does Regulus do this at uh, Santiago del Estero, Argentina? Well, this is this is what happens. Okay. So now we actually need to push this to Google Pages. This is just local. And I'm going to do that from the other machine because that's the only way I know how. Um, and then once that's done, which shouldn't take very long, we should be able to go to github.io dot pages dot heliacal. So that's that's not looking too good. Um, is it? It should be done pushing. Maybe it takes like a second. And. Oh, do I mean, do I have to do it like this? The pages is the sort of implicit? No. All right, let's see what we're doing. REPL waypoints, okay. I probably should have put it under REPL, but did I? No. Ah. <sighs> Okay. What badness has happened here? Oh, okay. I do have a um. <laughs> We're just really going to uh, undersell this that app. Um. All right. Stand by while I try to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Um. Yeah, it looks like it's there. I mean, at some point I could go check on, um, you know, GitHub itself, and I will, but... Oh, I think I need to do the forward slash. I keep forgetting about that. All right. So... Let's go ahead and add a link to this sucker. Um, oh, bad app, okay. So this will be a different bad app, slash pages, slash heliacal, bad app number two, heliacal rise, uh, rise set, because it's doing both. Okay. Uh, that has not been pushed yet. Okay, hang on. I do need to do a reset on the dot. There's there's a Emacs dropping that somehow made it here. And I guess I need to uh, update the um, git ignore here so it doesn't... Okay. Okay, here we go. So now when we go over to this... I guess we need to go over to this, actually. <laughs> well, why isn't it updating? Panic, panic, panic. Um, did I update the wrong HTML? No, I didn't. I pushed it. Hey. That's not cool. And maybe I need to do a shift reload? Fucking hell. Damn it, I pushed it. I want it freaking there. Anyway. Okay. So now, I'll go ahead and note that um, page down. Okay, so we've done this. We've tested. We've pushed it to GitHub pages. It's kind of working. And now let's say um, we can publish the answer here. Um, there's a lot of things we want to say part of our answer. Um, so we do have a pull down list. We have an autocomplete. We do not have hours, minutes, and seconds. We do have interpolation now. Um, I think we're going to add this product tangent stuff in here. 
Uh, let's see. And C to do below. Okay. All right. Now there's still some stuff I'm uh, before I publish this answer. Um, still kind of worried that there's no closed form solution. Um, and I sort of wonder if um, we can use Wolfram Cloud to do some graphing and maybe we can find a pattern using some graphing. Now of course the problem here is we've written this code in JavaScript um, do we really want to rewrite it in um, in Wolfram Cloud? Um, it shouldn't be that hard, actually, because the, the formulas are pretty basic. Um, but but it might not be super trivial either. So uh, so th the question here is: Do we stop and write up the answer, or do we try to put more into the answer before we we write it up, or do we fudge? That's what we're going to do, by the way, fudge write up the answer with a mention that we might change it later, and that sort of gets us off the hook there. Okay. Um, and I guess for this we should really have its own little, um, have its own little write-up. And because it's not in BC Git, it's in BC Git pages, let's, um, Oh, I don't know if I want to make a readme.md. Um, let's make a regular... Uh, would, do you want to do that? bchealyackle.txt. That's how it's going to be. Um, let's go ahead and find the... Um, uh, um, so, pretty good stuff here, but let's crank this up a little bit. Um, and even though Nightbot doesn't say it every time, should it say it every time? Probably not. All right, Pomodoro back in two and two. And I'm back. And I'm worried the chat might be scrolling without me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's write this up. Um, I want to use the same sort of wording I used for whatever the hell it is I where I did the other thing. Uh, that's really specific, isn't it? Why? Okay, that was weird. Uh, the other problem that I answered where I had that disclaimer saying proof of concept, blah, 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 blah. And I, was that also, was that an, a I think that was an astro actually. Um, nope. Okay. Oh, I think it was in stack now that I think about it.
Okay. <laughs> I know I created it. Because really, really careful to um I really need to get rid of these stupid Let me go ahead and get rid of them actually. This, this is getting ugly. I'm gonna go into the other machine because apparently I can't um Apparently I can't delete them from here because they look weird. And I think it's because they're like read only or some weirdness like that, so find dot minus i name dot da da. And what are these things actually? Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and ls minus l them. Oh and they're all links. And I think it's links that Emacs is trying to create. Um so let me just look for the ones that are links and remove those. So I'm pretty safe here because um, I'm only removing symbolic links. So now let's do this again. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to check my stack exchange activity to see where I did it. But I'm sure I said, ooh. I, I, I'm not happy. I, wrote, I definitely wrote something where I... Um, Disclaim the crap out of it. Okay, it might have been readme stream. Let me check there real quick. Okay. Yeah, that was the it was waypoints, right? So I should I should have it under maps. Okay, hang on. It's gonna be under maps. And did I create a subdirectory? I did not. Was it maybe not called dot text or something? Um, did I put it in wait like the answer into 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 this? I don't think I did. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna be irked if it turns out my answer is not somewhere in my git like it should be. Um, so let's see if we can find my network profile. Um, and I guess, can we look for the word waypoints in here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I'm in the wrong. I need to be in my network profile. Okay. This is me. That's where I want to be. And now... Activity. Points. Where did my little control F thingy go though? That's kind of cool that I got rid of it somehow. There it is. Way. Point. No, wow. Um, this is the question that I asked about the answer that I gave. So are we actually on a previous page of activity already? Here we go. Um, very basic. Oh, I might have ended up putting it in this directory, just because it's uh, kind of belong. I mean, it's it's published in pages, so it should probably. Uh, yeah. Um, hang on. But now I better fucking find it there, I'll be pissed off at myself. Okay. Source code is in JavaScript. Uh, 
Okay. Well, it's got to be in your cell. This is quite distressing. I guess we'll have to do it from BC Git, but that's going to take forever to search. So maybe I'll limit it to files that are smaller than a million bytes. Because I'm pretty sure this source code is not bigger, uh, this answer is not bigger than a million bytes. Still ugly because there are quite a few files here. Um, and I always cut and paste answers. I do not answer off the cuff. So, yeah, this, this might have been a bad idea. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna be on either machine trying something. is going to piece me off if it doesn't find anything. Actually, I actually think we can shrink this down to just files that are under 100,000. Maybe even 50,000. Okay. I'm using a different search engine on my other machine to see if I can find this. So this is basically killing time because I'm sort of feeling self-gaslighted here that I, I know that I uh, put these things into um, in, into Git before answering them. Let me do one more thing here on the other machine where you can't see it. Oh. Okay, but I think this doesn't have anything useful in it. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what this list of files actually is. Wow, there's a lot of these suckers, isn't there? Holy crap, so let's not... Let's get rid of the video grep. Anything that looks like... Oh, sorry, that's image. Anything that looks like an image, we don't, we ignore. Uh, and should we ignore KML files too? We might really want to. Um, what does that leave us with? Okay. Um, oh yeah, we definitely want to avoid files that are in GIF in the git itself. I'm okay with that, okay with that, okay with that. This might be okay, actually okay. And we suck down. The source code is in all files. All files you need to run it are in the source. That should be more than enough to find it. This is kind of sucky here. And I probably should have put a less in front of that. Bloody hell. Let me try that with BC Git pages, but I'm getting quite annoyed. Yep. Well, can I do it at the very top level? Do I have it written down somewhere else? Um, I 
I suppose I could watch the video where I answered it. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in one of the 2020 things. I mean, I shouldn't have, but, you know, mistakes do happen. Um... All right, let's take a look at all, and we're gonna pipe that to less. That's that's weird, but we're okay with it. Um, did I actually end up putting it in the um, in the Perl script? Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, this machine actually appears to be frozen. Now it's still going. It's just very, very slow. So, what's if I ended up putting it there? I think I didn't, though. I think we looked there. Uh, maps, BC waypoints. And I think we already looked here, and it's just some code. There is no... Um, did I put it into a zip file? Oh, hang on. Oh, right, right, so no. Okay! Alright, well I'm going to put that on my list of mysteries to find. Um... I would be happy to, I mean, god damn it! Okay. Let's find all the freaking text files. I've got quite a few of them, don't I? Let's see if any of them have the word waypoint in them. Wow. Just wow. Okay. I guess we could do X, but I mean, it's going to be like BC waypoints or something. Um. Okay, well. I mean, obviously, I put this somewhere. Um, oh. Oh, he, he got it. Okay. Okay, well, was it one of my Emacs buffers? I mean, is it readme waypoints or something? Nope, don't have one of those. Way... Okay. Um... Oh, it might be under geodesic. Now this is where I wrote, this This actually might be in here. This is where I wrote the question for Mathematica. And it might also be... <sighs> okay. Let's see if I can search for it in files named um, .m. I might have put the code into and actually, I bet you do that inside of BC Git.
picked up Piel. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to do X args. See if the word waypoints is mentioned in any of the mathematic files, which it should be, but hopefully it'll be something that has ah here we go. Maps BC Geodesic.m. That is just awesome where I keep my 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 answers. No one will ever find them. So it is in here. Here we go. So all I wanted to do there was to copy as much of this as possible. This is not a very basic proof of concept page at... Yeah, that probably wasn't worth it, was it? Um, which computes the heliacal... I'm going to fly spell mode so my spelling will be checked. Okay, I need to know if heli helical, I think, means over relating to a, a helix. So I don't think it's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Heliacal, I think, is a word, but... Yes! Um... Okay, hang on. Nice. So I've now actually corrected the data to my own dictionary. Um, which computes the heliacal rising. All right, Pomodoro, two and two. And we're back. Okay. Um, so here they rising for for a star for star, for stars at any right ascension and declination and for cities at any latitude. You can also... and longitude. You can also choose from a list of big cities and bright stars. Note that... Note that the longitude field... Um, is not actually used and does not affect the computation. Okay, so we have source code. Okay, so these two lines are kind of what we want to... I think I don't need to say anything more about the... Uh, about where the... Um, 
the client is internal, and if you download it, you even without it. Okay, that's good. I don't think I need to say you can port it to other languages like I did before, because I don't think anyone gives a rat's ass. And I also think we can... Oh, can we actually visit um, a URL if we select it? Hmm, maybe not. Alright, so we need to find the source code here. I mean, we know where it is, obviously, but we need to, uh, we need to... No, that's not what we want. God damn it. Alright, where's the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's not where the source code is. The source code is at... Here-ish. So we'll just do this part of it, and then we'll find it from there. I think it's literally going to be that plus the word heliacal. Um, okay, hang on. I want to make sure that's correct. There. Control A, Control C, and then yank. Okay. That's. Uh, no, I guess we need to say more importantly, um, the answer should be very accurate for the year 2020. Uh, the dates are given because it only returns a date. Um, but less accurate further from 2020. The heliacal, um, okay. You like a rising and setting for stars at any right ascension and declination and for cities at any latitude and longitude. You can also select um, Okay, for any um all right. Here rising and setting for stars at any uh, as well as dawn, dusk, rising, setting. So that's just we're a little throwaway. We're going to explain that in more detail here in just a second. Um, can I like not keep up a page that I? Uh, here it is. This is actually the wrong page, but um, okay, just. Abba, the star Abba, Rastaban, in Manitoba. Close enough. I want to make sure what it's saying here. Now the damn star will. Yes, okay, it is dawn and dust that I use as the words. Um, okay. So I might need to order these. Let's see. Okay, so this is the most important thing is an accuracy thing. Um, I included dawn, dusk, rising, setting, because stars, because even bright stars, um, may not be visible when the sun is rising or setting but should definitely be visible, but should be visible by the time civil twilight ends. Um, should be visible by the time the sun, um, by the time the sun, when, when, the sun is six degrees below the horizon. Horizon in parentheses, that is start end of civil twilight. Um, stars rise about four minutes. Is that actually true? 
That's probably not what I. That's probably not true, actually. Um. Uh, actually, it might be, because the sidereal time of rising doesn't change. About four minutes earlier every day. Um. This means that one. Um. The heliacal. Uh, rise set times can't be uh, set times um, ah. Depending on, oh, I shouldn't say depending on longitude because I just said it doesn't depend on longitude. Uh, rise above about four minutes earlier each day. Um, the heliacal dates are only approximations and may vary slightly across the world. Uh, which would avoid saying that they depend on your longitude, which they do. Um, uh, stars rise earlier, so, um, st stars rise with the sun, let me make sure this is correct, yeah it is, stars rise with the sun before they rise at dawn. Realistically, this means the uh, stars rise with the sun before they rise at dawn. It really means the star will be first visible in the morning sometime between its heliacal rise and its dawn rise. Actually, means a given the star, a given star. Realistically, this means a given star will be first visible in the morning, sometime between its heliacal rise and its dawn rise. Um, heliacal rise and dawn rise. Um, conversely, um. A star may be visible at dusk. First star I see tonight. <laughs> That's just a blind random reference. Um, one day and not be visible at all the next day. I think I'll leave that line as is. Uh, not in May, and they do, and the world. Okay. I think I covered quite a bit of crap in that. And I do know I have a bunch of notes here. Let's see. Um, follow a template of other answer. We stand alone. Source code. Okay, I've done that. Ugly proof of concept. Done that. Um, okay. I originally tried um, I tried to use a yeah I originally tried to use a simple formula for solar right ascension and declination assuming the sun's right ascension uh, increased linearly over the year linearly over the year and the declination wha man. was the tilt of the ecliptic times the sine 
of the number of days since the vernal equinox. Um, actually, you know what, I originally do the simple formula, and I'll just go ahead and give the formula, and then we'll, we'll work out. Um, uh, do I want to do this in tech? What, what am I on? Am I on, um, I think astronomy does allow, does allow tech. Let me double check, though. Yep, it does. Okay, so now do I actually want to... I think Mathix will do tech form, so that might be one of the, the few things it can actually do. Um. Yay! Oh, actually I should say, right ascension equals that over mm. okay that's good enough and I bet you this is going to um, do that. So if I if this works, I'll be actually fairly impressed. <whistles> nice. Almost. Okay, I think I can fix this two to be two four two one nine. declination equals oh you know what I should actually just say 2 times pi times um, sine of RA um, no sine of D over no sine of RA because RA goes from 0 to 2 pi um, Um, times the um, inclination of the ecliptic, approximately 23.4 is fine, um, but now to be, because I'm using radians everywhere, I have to convert this to radians, um, over 180 times pi. Okay, that would mean tech form. Where are I? Where I try to use a simple, a closed form. simple closed form formula. That's okay. Ascension. Deck is the declination. Um is the length of the tropical year. Um is the inclination of the ecliptic in degrees converted to radians by multiplying and radi hey radians when what is radians not a word? That's not good. No, it's it's a word, insert it. Um 
Okay. Converted to radians um, by via multiplying by uh, pi over 180. That should probably be in tech, actually, now that I think about it. Um, that's fine. And D is the number of days since the vernal equinox. Uh, this, unfortunately, because this formula completely ignores the equation of time. Oh, I need to link it, don't I? Yeah, I, I can't say equation of time without linking it. <sighs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Motherfucker, I keep forgetting how badly Google sucks. And DuckDuckGoGo does the same thing despite their claim. Um, you actually have to click on this and the motherfuckers will redirect you. Really, really ugly. Um, it was excessively inaccurate when I used Stellarium to check. That's, that's a commercial product. Not Tellurium, that's fine. Um, to double check. That's got to be a word. I want to use Tellurium to double check. Okay. Uh, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And I'm back. Okay. By the way, I need to mention that I used um, J2000 versus... When I computed the sun's position and did, a, um, and did an interpolation, I used the sun's uh, position compensating for precession, but the star possessions, positions I used are J2000, which do not compensate for precession, which creates a very small error um, to check my results. I ended up using C spice to generate solar positions and Mathematica to create an interpolation 
Uh, now I need to say it's good to something and I need to link to it. So I don't think that's a huge deal. Um, if it was nice I would have actually put in here somewhere where I got the interpolation from. Um, And I'm pretty sure it's not from BC Astro Formulas, actually. I think it was something else. Um, I'm, I'm almost sure I didn't end up doing it here. Um, so let me look for the word interpolation anywhere in these. It might actually not be in any of these. It might be somewhere else. Um, this is a promising candidate. So, okay, somewhere I actually have, I think the latest work I did on this was in November, so this would be it. Um, um, Okay. Uh, the sad thing is I don't actually remember um, where I what the final result is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I mean n equals five, obviously, because that's what we were using. But okay, is this the final one? Four seconds consistently. But isn't that for? Um, oh no, it's not. It's not. It's your 2020. And I know this interpolation goes to 2025. Well, through the end of 20... Oh, okay. The moon will be worse. Okay, May finalizes that. Dun, 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 dun. To easily be a J... Okay, this is where I ended up doing it. I wonder if I have this labeled as being the correct thing or not. Probably not. Oh, unless this is within... Oh, this... No, it's not. Um... Yeah, this is... I'm really, really bad about... Okay. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Um... So somewhere in here I should say n equals 5. Docs equals this. Dex de declarations. Interpolation. That's fine. Inter nth. Okay. Yeah, let's take a quick look at this file here. I'm a little bit curious as to um, what the hell I did. Is this a prox sonari deck? This it actually includes the moon, but this is, um, okay. So I probably did finalize this, and then inter nth, um, okay. Okay, so this is pretty much where I finalized. Um, um Wow. So was the it was nine was the final. Um, three seconds of arc. I gotta go with it. Wait. Oh, okay. Hang on. Um. Oh my God. So I know I use this for JavaScript, but... I 
think I'll just say within five seconds of arc to be safe. Tempted to rerun all this crap to see what happens. Okay. All right, we'll say within five seconds. All right. Um, create an interpolation. Good to within five seconds of arc. And then we will try to point to this piece of shit. And there's a program I have that, if I'm if I read it, wrote it correctly, it should automatically give the um, the URL of the of the git page for this file which is that okay alrighty I used um, precession corrected why is precession not a word Um, positions for the sun, but non, but J2000 positions for the stars, which also, which also adds a small, which may add, no, oh it does add, which may add minor inaccuracy. Uh, but for, for the stars, comma, but the inaccuracy thus generated should be very small, which is true. Okay. Um, I was hoping to find a closed form solution, so I mentioned this. Um, but even with the simplified um, tingle bobs up there, even with the simplified coordinates, the rise time of a celestial Oops, I need to mention refraction. Okay. Do I want to say this? Um, we'll say the geometric rise time of a celestial object is... Um, The geometric rise time of an object is, and I will quote my own URL, and this one I should actually have in RA. Come on, seriously? Um. This is what is it? time above horizon. Yeah, this sucker here. Um, yeah, so it's plus minus. This is the total time up, and the um, the noon time is obviously the right, right ascension. So it's going to be RA minus that over 2. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and do the, the geometric 
Um, rise on a celestial object above a given altitude is. And in this case, I think we can just do tech form directly. Um, uh, celestial altitude is given by where lat is the observer's latitude. See what else we have in here. Deck is the celestial object's declination or delcination. Declination. Um, alt is the given altitude above the horizon. Okay, so we got deck, lat, alt, and an RA. So we've got deck, lat, and alt, and RA is the celestial object's right ascension. Um, when the, when alt is zero, geometric rising above the horizon, the geometric rise over the horizon. And the formula simplifies to simplifies to um, probably should simplify that first. Oh, that's kind of nice actually. And I need to find the URL here. And this is a URL I use quite a bit. So, um, um, trying to find which one it is, though. Yeah, where I give a bunch of formulas for uh, rise, set time, and all that crap. Um, this is not what I want, actually. Need simple equation for rise, set, transit time. Oh yeah, here it is. 14492. Do I have this? One second here. I have a list of important URLs that make that make me think I'm smart. Um, and this one's not in it. So we very quickly need to add that one in here. Wow. Okay. And of course, in order for us to see it here, I need to put it into uh, a temp file, but I can do that. Um, wait, where is the temp file? Ooh. I still don't have one. It's actually not good. Okay, um... And then I can just load that in here like this. I hope if I did it right. There it is. Um, and I don't think we need to know redirect crap. Um, that's fine. Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, crap. I think my answer didn't actually give it above any given altitude. It might have actually. Um, let me see. I mean, no one's going to check. No one is going to check. Uh, but I want to be accurate anyway. Uh, 
Um, no. Uh, no, it does not include that. Um, however, the simplification does come from that. So now we will still get to brag. Um, the simplified formula is not correct, however, is inaccurate, however, because it doesn't account for refraction, generally um, standard value, whose standard, ah, which is standard value? Standard value of 34 minutes at the horizon, and the sun's solar, sun's, sun's <laughs> angular radius. 16 minutes of arc. Um, now, somewhere I need to mention that a star's RA rising and setting time are um, are fixed. Hamadero back in two and two. And I'm back. And I'm beginning to wonder if this is maybe too much information even for an answer here. Uh. Okay, so I will keep this, you know, so I, we have it for something. Uh. hoping to find a closed form formula uh, for heliacal twilight rising. Well, let's just even say for heliacal for heliacal rising date. But even ignoring refraction and the sun's angular radius. Even ignoring um, fraction, the sun's equatorial radius, and the equation of time, um, I couldn't find a. I couldn't find such a formula, even with Wolfram Cloud's help. And we're going to cleverly mention. 
Um, Wolfram clouds help. I think that's just Wolfram dot math. Um, what is it? Cloud dot Wolfram. And we do want to make sure that we're not selling anything, so we do need to say, even with the free Wolfram Cloud,